What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another video on Girls Frontline with the brand new event that just came out today and it's going to be on the bottom left hand side of your screen and it's the Firework Festival. Oh, oh, oh I just swiped. <laughs> and it's going to be the Firework Festival that started on August 25th which is today with, when I'm recording this all the way to September 7th and basically what you're going to have to do to in order to work on this event is defeat bosses from chapters 1 through 6. Each boss is going to be on the normal mode I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about really quickly but what basically what it is every time you beat a boss for one day you're gonna be able to get 12 kitsune masks and once you get enough kitsune masks you can trade them in and there's actually some good rewards that are gonna be coming from this um, so if you go to shop press on the top left event and you get to see all the rewards that you can get so currently I have 36 masks and that's because I was playing and I was testing out some um, and then I was testing some things out and find out how things work uh, basically all of these things are stuff I believe you can only get during this event um, and I believe you can get a total of 72 masks per day so I think if my calculations are correct you can get you can definitely get all of these rewards I believe if you play every single day however like I said you need to be able to have access through chapters 1 through 6 completely uh, in order to do this event um, well to get all the rewards, I'm pretty sure you guys can go for an event, like you uh, get a certain reward you want as long as you have at least one or two, maybe three uh, chapters open, um, but I would recommend just to grind it and get, knock out the story as fast as you can. Um, for example, I think the very first thing I'm going to be buying is probably, of course, Kalina's uh, costume and... I, I just really want it. I, you can't really, I can't really actually show you guys it really quickly, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but... I plan on going getting the uh, at least the costume, then getting the background, then I'm probably going to get the Shiba Inu. I wonder if you're actually going to be able to get uh, the uh, dorm bonus for having a pet in there. Pretty sure you are. Uh, but yeah, also, and then if you have any extras, you can just use them. Uh, use whatever extra keeps in a mess, or if you don't care for the other uh, rewards, to get combat reports for EXP or tokens so you can get go try your luck uh, for this freaking event that I can't get anything from. Yeah, this thing. Been rolling for you, MP5, and I've also been rolling for you, Groza. But you know what? You've been eluding me, so screw you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go show you guys what to do. So if I remember, you can only get these once a day from each chapter. So, and also you can only do them on normal mode, not in emergency mode. So that actually is makes it a, a little bit easier. Uh, but you're gonna go to normal mode and you're gonna move down all the way down over here. And I've already beaten this one, but all you have to do is just complete the map. I have actually not done this one, so we're gonna do this on really quickly. You know, I have yet to get you. This FMG9, it's a limited drop, I've yet to get you. Should probably, like, just do a bunch of auto runs and see if I can get it. But I'm gonna be spawning my actual echelon. Actually, you know, let's go use a different echelon. Let's go use it for fun echelon. An echelon that I've just been having fun with. Let's try this one. Yeah, you know what? I actually have yet to see my KSG in action. Actually, hold on, let me see. Let me, okay, actually, maybe maybe I should not use them because these guys are actually a little bit strong. Uh, so, let's go use, I, I've been doing, um, I've been doing combat runs lately, if you guys can't see. Uh, let's go use this one. Let's go, because we got Sleepo, Resident Sleepo Beepo, in the leader position. Um, oh, she, I, I can oath her. I might go to jail, but I can oath her. Fuck it. <laughs> so, we're just gonna start the operation really quickly. And I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so I have two moves. I can go up. I'm just gonna do a two-round clear. I just realized I can do a two-round clear on this thing. Just, I'm gonna walk through this really quickly. Um, I've already done, I believe, chapters one, four, and five. So I haven't done two, three, and six. Six is a little tough. Gonna be a little tough. Uh, anyway. So we're gonna end the round right here, really quickly. I find it funny. Like, <laughs> after being part of the, like, well, not really being a part of, but after just witnessing the Reddit community of this, it seems like everyone wants to bully Sang this very. And it's pretty funny, actually, not gonna lie. They have, like, bullying just all the, like, bullying agents and all them. Oh my gosh, Sleepo Beepo. 
Oh shit, did I just... Okay, I lose the next turn. Okay, that's fine. I was like, did I just fucking lose? That would have been really embarrassing. Alright, so... Let's kill the boss really quickly. And then, I, you should be able to get the ma mask right after you beat her. <laughs> she wasn't even able to shoot. Alright, so I kill her. Wait, I level who leveled up? See, okay, there you go. So you get the Kitsune masks. Uh, hold on, who leveled up, actually? Uh, oh, um, my 416 leveled up. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you just do it. You can only do it once per day, and you cannot do it on the actual... Hold on, let's see what happens. Okay, you actually do win it. Okay, I, I don't normally have it happen where my entire place is surrounded, and then I capture it. So, like I said, all you have to do... Just go to the boss map. Uh, I've already done one, now two, four, and five. I just realized you can actually do a one turn clear on four. I'm gonna just. Show, I'm not gonna actually do it, but you can actually do a one turn clear. You would spawn someone around the top right. Um, have someone spawn on the top uh, on the bottom right, and then just go straight across. You have four moves: one, two, three, four, and then there you go. And you can beat up a boss if you wanted to. But yeah, that's all you have to do. Do this once per day. I'm going to go finish up the rest. I currently have, I believe, I think I have four, what, 48 now? No, oh, yeah. Complete map. Okay, that works. Yeah, but I think I actually have 48 masks. Yeah, 48 masks. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be able to buy what I want to at first, but I'm going to be getting this Kalina costume immediately. So, I think I'll, I'll be I'll be getting that tomorrow. Then I'm going to be working on the background. Then I'm going to be working on the Shiba Inu. Then I'm going to get the icon, and then after that, it's whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you guys want to actually see my uh, information, my, my actual information on my actual card, there it is right there. Um, the only bad thing is... My influence list is completely full. As you guys can see, 50 out of 50. Uh, I, I'm, I'm probably going to go through really quickly and uh, just delete people who are, who are inactive if there are any. Uh, but other than that, hopefully you guys uh, were able to get enough from this. It's a really simple guide. Like I said, you can only do the normal modes. Don't You can't do the emergency modes. They won't drop anything. The only thing you'll be doing is uh, just basically helping yourself do the... Uh, clear maps uh event uh the quest line the daily quest line but anyways that is it for this video guys let me know what you guys are in the comment section below what are you aiming for for this event uh and if you are not able to get all the rewards what are you going to be going for for sure or you know you're just going to be able to get all the rewards just right off the bat but anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace